Hi, I'm Gary Burns, and I've just finished up a 29 plus year career with the federal law enforcement. My last 13 years, I was a federal air marshal with the Federal Air Marshal Service, and it was a great honor. The practical pistol course, which we eventually ended up using as our quarterly qualifying course. And the practical pistol course is a good course, um, but it is about 50 years old. And it was actually um, designed um, for back in the days when we all carried revolvers. For somebody like federal air marshals who, you know, you picture general law enforcement riding around in a car, walking through buildings, securing buildings, all very important stuff. But on an, as a federal air marshal, you're in a tube that's anywhere from you know 10 feet wide to 18 feet wide, and you you're, have to learn to fight linear, front to back, back to front. You're not going to do much fighting left to right. Um, the attacks are going to usually come from behind you or in front of you. The the first course from the old Sky Marshals was C, the tactical pistol course, and it was designed for short distances, um, quick response overwhelming firepower. And then when people had problems qualifying, people that were transferred over, retired people from the Secret Service, administrators, not air marshals, couldn't pass it. Then they kind of dumbed it down to the PPC. Any course can be tackled and almost perf and perfect it just with practice. The PPC is not a bad course. I highly recommend that if you're not in law enforcement and you've never done it before, go online and find the practical pistol course that federal law enforcement uses. It's a great tool for your training and it's another course. It takes place at one and a half yards, three yards, seven yards, and then 15 yards from a barricade and then 25 yards from a barricade. And that's, that may sound overwhelming to you, but it's not. So the, the practical pistol course to me is not really that good of an indicator um, for if somebody can be an air marshal. Again, being an air marshal is being able to fight not just with a gun but with your fists on an airplane. The practical pistol course takes place from one and a half yards to 25 yards. I'm not sure there's a lot of planes that are 25 yards long or where an incident would take place where you're shooting 25 yards. Not that long distance pistol marksmanship is not important. I'm not saying they should throw the PPC out completely, but the TPC should be brought back in my opinion, or another tactical course. And many people have tried to improve our marksmanship inside. Uh, a gentleman um, named Kelly uh, that worked for the Air Marshal Service who came from the U.S. Army Special Forces uh, tried to get a course through. And by the time he got it through, it took about three years and it was so dumbed down that it was basically just a version of PPC from the seats on an airplane. And now that's not putting uh, Kelly down. He did a great job. The original course was very, very uh, trying, and it was certainly uh, trying and interesting to new, new air marshals. Like many things in the air marshal service, things got dumbed down. Our original fighting skills with our hands and our feet were good, and they worked. Now it's been so dumbed down by people who, um, by supervisors that are afraid their people are going to get hurt. You know, being a cop and being an air marshal, it's a dangerous job. If you're not willing to uh, get a little bloody and a little dirty, you might want to stick with what you did before. Um, politics sounds pretty good, actually. You know, they don't seem to do anything dangerous.